Promo here gaming. Side content, the gameplay of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So, you are on a mission of Killing that Walker, I think. Killing Walker is the other one. <laughs> it's brother one is a brother mission. Let's spend the game. Destroy the behemoth again. Uh, last last part I just made a foolish call of restarting the game. All normal would and starting then. Yep. This thing was missing. Here's a weird visual you don't like. Saying it to you. Behemoth is not there. So while I was playing again, I could see that Behemoth was there. Okay. Behemoth skill that was saved. That's good. Let's no man! Yo, part of me is glad you're still alive. It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up. Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. But I've used it that way. The walker I knew never would have been a part of this. And he never would have killed his own. I've been trying to show you. You got no vision on what the future could be. No man. It's not too late. You could join me. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Okay, so this conversation goes the same way. Now you're making me kill mine. It always ends in a same conversation. But why can't I continue this? Put you down. You are a brother. 
My shit. Only if you cuddle me after. <laughs> well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Did uh, did you and I go through part of selection together? No, it was jump school. I was in the but chalk next to yours. <laughs> that's right. But that uh, dude from Pararescue, right? First recon guys. Fun times, man. Well, I got, uh, got some more fun for you. This here's your briefing. Say, you, uh, you want some candy? Hey. Mm. Candy, man. Excuse me. Yeah, we haven't even started this mission. Man's already talking about sending us back to the Middle East. Again? And that's one that never ends. It's because, uh, the war's easier in peace. Company man back there, who you never saw, by the way, he, uh... He believes in this fantasy, it's called Wonderland, where people never fight. It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit. I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Say, no, man. It's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> Look what your Wonderland got you. You are a better man than this, Walker. Why the hell did you do this one cut to you? Not good. Hit on target! Damn! Respect! Again, that thing happening. This is a glitch, I must say.
switching to silencer. There's no light for them. No meds to Air One. I'm plugged in. Transmit that virus. Understood. We're sending now. Destroying the own self bunny. That's good. Nomads Air One. Mission accomplished. Mission That's amazing to hear. Accomplished. I'll let everyone know. I'm heading back. Make sure Matt saved me some of that moonshine. It's good. But I'm gonna take this all. What is there? It's a whole thousand deck. There won't be any votes. We need rest, boss. Yeah, they have a good one. Let's 
go to error. Great. Hello. If I beat Walker, but I have to be traced on. Yeah. Let's beat him. That's important. So I guess no, not right now. Wait. We never know what will happen next. I think we'd have something you might find interesting. Let's meet it scared. Well, look who it is. I bet you have Sentinel running scared by now. Oh, running scared by now. We're so confident about it. Uh, Check with Armin. Where is Armin? Pew pew pew. I guess we're stuck here a little while longer, huh? Well, we stopped Walker from taking the drones off the island. That's not small potatoes. <laughs> Y'all know what Wonderland is? Walker mentioned it. Other people working for him and Stone mentioned it, too. I heard Walker and Stone talk about it. But I never got a full explanation. Sounds like Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. Yeah, he said I couldn't stop it. Oh, forget about it, all right? This island is full of crazy billionaires. People think they're wolves. <laughs> Enjoying stuff. Killer robots. Mad shows. Quite military killer. contractors. But it is also full of really, okay. really Mario good people. Also we got together and we did something good and we should be proud of that. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Look at those birds. <laughs> Those are birds. Those are the songs. Those are birds. That's fascinating. We didn't program that. Aruhi. Okay. Uh, are they attacking the two places that I know? The safe places? Oh my god. You can see problem. that Icarus is not the only one aiming for great heights. Okay. It's their war. This is Stone. Miles, just because you pay my bills, it don't make me your bitch. Well, I don't know how Scale took control of that sector, but it doesn't have it now. How's that? <sighs> well, you tell the big boss not to get his panties in a twist. Oh, well. I'm on the island. So with Walker gone, I guess that puts me in charge. Hello. 
big boss. Alright. What's next? What's making I can ask my questions? Is it time up and so on? Is it? There's a place or stone was there or not missed. I'm gonna check. I have had my notes. Breakpoint achievement. Breakpoint. Did you hear? Ballard has a cure. At this point, I won't believe anything until I see it with my own eyes. Fine, but allow yourself a little relief. But soon it'll be time to think about the future. And we're gonna need you. You heard what happened? I liked Fox. This girl's gonna need caring for. Maybe you could check in on Jace. I think Erewhon seems to have done him some good. Any man who keeps his head after losing a friend like that deserves a chance. That's too bad about Fox. I had my doubts about him at first. I wondered how Fox could have had a kid with as much spirit as Harmony. Just figured it must have been her mother. To Valhalla. Fox may not have had any of your skill, but he stood up for what he cared about. That's all a person can hope to do. Yep. Weird having the woman from all those propaganda videos walking around. I don't trust her. Stuck between Sentinel and a hard place, she chose her people over profit. And what does she really do? Send a few videos? You make it sound easy. If she could end all this by handing any of us over to Stone, what choice do you think she'd make? Cause me? I don't know. How come you didn't mention the outcasts before? Outcasts? Hmm. <laughs> They're just disgruntled Skeltech folks, having an attack of conscience. They mostly just make noise, loud protests and theatrics. Haven't you got an enemy in common? Whatever Skell does to the rest of the world's got nothing to do with us. And if the outcasts have something they want to atone for, that's their business. We were here before all of them, and we'll be here after. Looks like the outcasts are just stupid protest kids with too much high explosive. What are you talking about? They never meant to kill anyone. Is that supposed to be an excuse? <laughs> They're trying to make up for what they've done. Good for them. But there's still plenty of hell to pay before they break even in my book. They got people everywhere. You got people here. We need them. They'll get better. I hope so. Did you hear? Jay Skell's been bleeding cash trying to cure the disease that Paula's husband got. I don't get why that's a big deal. Nobody's tried to cure it before because not enough people have it. Jace could spend millions on a cure and never see a profit. Well, I guess he never did seem like a money grubbing Scrooge. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Future. We all need to decide. Sentinel attacked us with a plague. Sneaks, cowards. My brother is dead. Children are dead. I'll see you around. Sure, I'll be seeing you. I'm glad we agree. Now we start convincing the others. Keep an eye on any stocks from the outcasts. If you see someone sick, give them a hand. Make sure you do it in a way that's sanitary. 
Fox didn't make it. What happened? He sacrificed himself. Yellow Leg got him. Damn. Oh, so much death. I'll miss that little fellow. He was an odd duck, but I kind of liked him. So did I. Hell, everyone liked him. He had a charm to him, even if he was a bit of a nerd. <laughs> he was a good guy. You know, he reminded me of Mads in a way. Too damn giving. Always putting himself before others. I ain't surprised to hear he sacrificed himself. I just wish he could have asked for help, you know? Or at least thought about his daughter. It's just a damn shame. We could have helped him. He had friends here. Someone's gonna need to look after Harmony. Yeah. She's going to need a lot of help moving on from all this. She needs someone who can really take the time to process her emotions and raise her right. Got anyone in mind? Well, she's close with Skell, but... He is incredibly wealthy. She'd want for nothing. Yeah, all he does is work. And he spoils her to make up for it. That's no way to raise a child. What she needs is time and space to heal. And someone looking after her that can give her all the love she needs. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. Now let's meet and share the good news. Seriously, man, you need to recover. You're way better with drone technology than I am. I need you out there. Well, you're just gonna have to suck it up, Buttercup. Maybe if you had paid attention in cross-training. I did, asshole. But it's your specialty. I'm just not as good with those things. We all have our part to play, right? You've got your wheelhouse, and we all stay pretty much out of your way when you're working. That's how this goes. Keep pushing yourself with new challenges. Learn everything you can. Rally other folks to fill in the gaps. That's great and all. But I still need you, man. Aw, oh, you like me. You really like me. I don't know why I bother. Brother, I know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. I do. God knows I feel useless as hell hold up here. You're just gonna have to find another me. Another you? Like that could possibly exist anywhere. Aw. I may cry. Go to hell. Oh, they're making jokes. Oh. Man. You no know, Weaver was a good dude. I'll say. He didn't take a dump without checking his gear. Oh, well, he didn't take any chances. How'd he do it? Don't. How did he do it? He executed him. Like he was some rabid dog. Backstabbing piece of shit. This shit with Walker has my head spinning. I still can't believe it. What if it was him all along? What do you mean? What if Walker was the target? That's... Think about it. They send us to find a missing ship. 
Conventional guys can do that. Shit, even the Coast Guard. But why us? Jesus. They've had a hard-on for him since the Middle East, and you know it. And now he's here? It just doesn't add up. Yeah, but Walker? He's just... I saw him. I saw him do it. Smoke ghosts just like they were any other assholes. But they'd have said something. Would they? They know our history. Christ. Give me the good old days when a bad guy was a bad guy. You just knew. This is friggin' whacked. I wonder if Midas made it. That dude crossed the border outside Juarez, blackout drunk in ranger panties and flip-flops. If anyone can hold it together out here, it's him. God, remember that? If he's out there, we got a shot. Maybe. Give me the three of us. You, me, Midas. We'll find that piece of shit, Walker. Run him right into the ground. We got to. For Weaver. You're not exactly in fighting shape right now, man. You gonna be able to walk again? I better. This ain't no way for me to go out. You get some rest, pal. Walker's dead. No matter what happened, I know it wasn't easy. I talk a lot of shit, but I'm sorry things went down this way. I was so angry. Seeing the things he did and what he became. I thought I'd feel better. Dude, don't beat yourself up. You're still human. This is bigger than Walker. He was a symptom, and this disease is systemic. It goes pretty high, doesn't it? What worries me is what takes Walker's place. Whoever it is, it's we'll be ready. Stone. I hope so, stone. brother. How you holding up? Shit, man, I'm golden. Hang on, I've been working on my dance routine. You probably need to get out of that bed first. Yeah, my audition at Juilliard may have to wait. I hope you have a backup plan. That leg's done. This is killing me. I'm useless here. You've helped these people. Sure, I talked them through some guard rotations and security protocols, but still. We're all doing what we can. I'd rather have you in the fight, but at least I know this place is locked down. I just... can't stand thinking I'm slowing you down. <laughs> I'm just glad you're still around to bug the shit out of me. Eh, bite me. This is a pretty fancy setup for some backwoods yokels. You're telling me. I've seen a lot of this stuff before, like in army hospitals, if you get my drift. Wouldn't doubt it. This is as good as any med hooch we've ever had. Yeah, well, all things being equal, I'd rather be in one of our camps. At least I'd know I signed up for it. Well, look at that. You're still in bed. Eat shit. <laughs> You'll heal, old man. Things are kind of... out of control, huh? You can say that. Dude, I've been in this game for a long time, you know? But I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna say, brother. This makes me uneasy. The tech gets smarter, and we just trust it more. We are headed down a dark path. Yeah. I hate being stuck on this island. It's growing on me. I love the trees. You're an idiot. Yep. Well, I'm glad you like it so much, since it doesn't look like we're leaving anytime soon. Who wants to leave? Things are just getting interesting. As for damn sure. So, what do we do now? What we always do. We take the fight to them. This shit is hardly over. We need help. There's good people here. Yeah. First, we gotta help them get control back. Then we figure out who the hell is driving this bus. And smoke them. Hell yeah. You know, I guess I am glad you survived that crash. Love you too, buddy. Cocktail? How about two? Oh, two Later, brother. Later. Later. You ever see yourself doing this? Later, brother. Later.
You okay, Harmony? You want me to help you unpack your stuff? I don't need your help. Maria's helping me. All right. Your dad was really brave. Glad I got to meet him. I wish we never met you. I'm sorry, kid. I wasn't sure about Miss Perry. I guess she's all right. I guess. You're not sure? You know, she liked my dad. She had to be nice to me. I'm just like everybody else here. I don't feel like being nice to her. It's been a rough time for everyone. Who are you? I'm not going to be nice to you. You don't have to be nice to me. But I'm gonna do my best to get you home. I don't have a home. Do you have a mother somewhere? She has a new family in San Diego. I'll be fine. Maria is teaching me how to hunt. I'll stay here in Aroa. I can take care of myself. <clears throat> so what's there for a kid to do in Aroa? God. Fine. I go to the beach, like Coromico. There's a movie theater in Liberty. And if you could excuse me, I'm very busy. See, that's one doctor me. Yes, she is very, very nice. Well, all right. <sighs> Take care, kid. Fox never let on that you were the one sending the videos. He probably thought he was protecting me. He was hiding you from us. With all that propaganda you were in, folks don't trust you. I don't care what they think. Stone and Sentinel forced me to make those. How'd a woman like you end up with Fox anyway? He thought I was pretty, and he made me laugh. So were you best friends with Walker, like everybody else? He was protective of me against Stone, to a degree. Walker would have shown you a little more loyalty if he trusted you. He could probably tell you were scheming. Scheming? You're a little obvious, Puri. You've always got an angle. If Walker ever had any flaw, it's honesty. He seized control of Skeltech. You call that honest? Plenty of well-meaning governments have seized control of corporations. So for Walker, yeah, it was honest. In 
case nobody else asks, I mean, with Fox dead. You got an opinion on what happens to Harmony? Harmony isn't my daughter. I know she has a mother in the U.S. somewhere, but... Uh... Well, I'm just asking for your opinion. She's a good kid. And Fox was always there for me. But I'm not exactly the nurturing type. Who's been keeping an eye on her here? Maria, Mad's wife. I don't think she's got a problem with keeping an eye on her for now. What's on Gollum Island? You must know. The island was a test zone for drones. It recreated harsh weather conditions for researching the effects on mechanical components. Sounds useful. It was. Project Titan was launched there, but that project was always on the back burner. It was Walker who got it started again. Like its namesake, Titan became huge, leaking money like a sieve. But you don't know what it is. You'd have to ask Jace. He is the brain. I'm just the money. You're just the brain, I'm just the money. How was it playing both sides like that? It's so simple for you, isn't it? You see your enemy and you fight him. Huh. Simple ain't the word I'd use. Do you think I was happy seeing what Sentinel was doing to my company, to Jace? Don't you think I wanted to do something to stop them? Just speaking out was dangerous. So you cooperated? Staying quiet and doing my job has given me access to information that can stop Stone. If I have to be hated as the face of Skeletech in order to intervene, then so be it. You know, fighting is sometimes the only option. I did what I could to survive. I'm not you. I'm not a soldier. Neither was Fox. You and Jace two peas in a pod now. Jace can think whatever he wants of me. Can he? Was he just your boss or was he your friend too? I stood up for his employees. He was the one who left. That's true. So what do you know about Miles? I only met him once, and that was one time too many. That good, huh? Superiority complex without the intellect to back it up. Nothing more than a puppet on a string. Question is, whose leash is he on? Exactly. Whoever it is, they are the real threat. Knowing that they're out there makes me feel all fuzzy inside. You and me both. Interesting guy, that Stone. Stone craves power and will do anything he can to retain it. He sees everything in the world as an opportunity for ownership. That includes this island. So he doesn't share? With you, for example? He... He treated me better than others. I won't deny that. You seem to enjoy his generosity. I didn't enjoy anything about him. He needed me because I could help him control the island. God knows what he'll do now that I've left. He had you tied up in a cave. I think he has a plan. Mm -hmm. See you around. Cheers. Cheers. is having a discussion with a uh, late Morris Fox. Bye bye Harmony. Walker's dead. 
You? Yeah. yeah. If Walker's dead, why are we still hiding in a cave? That is Use middle question. management. Stone's still out there working with Miles and who knows who else. Citadel okay. is still operational. Citadel this is far from over. I'm, uh... You were friends, right? I'm... I don't know what to say. He, he wasn't really... I know what you mean. We could spend all day listing his sins and we'd still have plenty more to check off tomorrow. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. You know that one from memory? You don't get rich trying to be right all the time. I've had to forgive a lot of people and I've had to ask for forgiveness too. We still have a ways to go. What do you plan to do when this is over? You mean with Aurora? Yeah. With Skeltech? Assuming Miles is out of the picture. You're assuming I don't go to prison. <laughs> I thought the whole idea of you being out here was that you were self-governing. I mean, we escaped some regulations, but we still have holdings all over the world. And the lawsuits. I'm sure the families of my employees are already filing them from countries all over the world. I take it you spoke with Ayana Puri. Yeah, she's still pretty shaken up, I think. Oh, I think she's cool as a cucumber. No, she's not like you. She thinks showing her emotions makes her look weak. It's a business thing. Switching sides is a business thing, too. I don't like everything she did, but she did do her best to protect the staff. Nomad, I ran away. But she stayed. She looked out for the rest of Skeltech. She seems more cloak and dagger than business suit. But I'll admit, Rose a better place with her than without her. What is going on with these drone swarms? Did your program introduce a glitch or something? It's, uh, the drone swarm AI. That one swarm controller in particular, it went autonomous. Like, completely autonomous. Sentinel doesn't control it. But neither do we. Yeah. That's bad. Not necessarily. It's still running Operation Citadel, and it's also running a lot of other subroutines. But we've been locked out again. We have no access to the program. Plain English, genius. What's gonna happen with this AI, and will it let us off this island? The AI is demonstrating emergent behavior. You can't anthropomorphize it. It doesn't think the way people do. It can't let us do anything. But it doesn't make it less amazing. In other words, we're shit out of luck. We can go out of here and all of our try. All what we did to fix the drone is a waste. Wow. Great step. Great. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. Is it just me, or is there this real Area 51 vibe about the training center in that restricted area? <laughs> You've been watching too many of those old sci-fi shows, but I get why it makes you feel uneasy. That training center is a huge area for drone testing. It's like those old U.S. nuclear testing sites from the 1950s. There's a test zone about the size of a small city that's filled with fake buildings. It helps the drones train for urban defense scenarios. Or urban invasion scenarios. I don't know about all that, but soldiers from Sentinel Corp do use it to train alongside lethal drones. It's all very top secret, hush hush stuff, done to preserve the safety and integrity of Aroa. Oh, I get it. Why the fixation on the R&D center, Project Omega? Omega was a secret project initiated after the terrorist attack. The outcast attack. Skell only selected his top performing employees for it. He demanded utmost loyalty. 
blind loyalty because Omega went against everything Aroa stood for. He needed to know Project Omega would be in the right hands. And stay in the right hands. The R&D Center is the heart of the whole lethal drones operation. The fount of all ideas, all designs. You seem to know a lot about it. I used to work there. Ah, it all makes sense now. Reserve your judgments. Look, they have an army of scientists whose sole purpose is to engineer a mechanical superkiller. That's a lot of manpower. Brain power. Just think of what all that gray matter could have accomplished under the right encouragement. They corrupted noble intentions. Huh. What's that saying again? The road to hell is paved or something? I suffer every day for my mistakes. I will never forgive myself. Well, maybe that's a start then. Nowhere to go from here but up. You all right? Sentinel must have been an ordeal. They are the filthy scum of the Earth. Everything's been worse since they came to Aroa. Security? <laughs> that bad, huh? They're an occupational force here to control and intimidate. Seems to be working. They've got a lot of people scared. Some are starting to push back. I might not be a fighter like you are, but I will always resist them, whatever way I can. That's why I built the energy cell for the outcasts. <laughs> and that went to hell in a handbasket. You don't need to remind me. I just wanted them to have a source of electricity that wasn't hijacked from the Skell network. Keep them truly off-grid. One thing's for sure. I need to take better care in who I trust. So how do you really feel about Project Deus? Project Deus is a sect. Almost a cult. It's ridiculous. Oh? There are no gods in machines. Computers are tools, nothing more. They obey and carry out what we will of them. Don't hold back now. It's infuriating. Sadly, there is a certain power in what Maddox is trying to do. She has influence, and it has gotten her far. What happens next? I don't know. She's unstoppable when she puts her mind to something. All we can hope for is... Divine intervention before things get dangerous. Divine intervention. Okay. So, what is World 2.0? I mean, what is it to you? Imagine if you had the power to solve all of the world's problems through technology, innovation, and sustainable development. World 2.0 is an opportunity for us to reestablish the link between mankind and the environment. So, a utopia? A utopia is unrealistic. Do I dream of a perfect world? Yes, but I'll settle for a better one. The joy of people coming together to achieve something bigger than themselves. That's the goal. A place where everyone can be the best version of themselves. You make it sound lovely. I still don't get how Skell could be interested in both Maddox and you. You're like night and day. I would have said the same. Maddox was my opposite in every way, but here we are, both working on controlling killer drones. Well, that's hardly a resemblance. Still goes to show how stars can realign, given the right circumstances. Skell always was the kind to trust his instincts. Adapt to survive. Maybe Maddox realized the error of her ways. Maybe. Stranger things have happened. The tech on this island is really something else. I didn't realize 3D printing had gotten so sophisticated. What you've seen is just the tip of the iceberg. Seriously? I'm thrilled with what's on the horizon. The printing alone, it's nothing short of remarkable. I'm so stoked about it. 
What's the latest? Basically, all they need are the raw materials, and they can produce pieces that surpass anything I've ever seen in traditional mass production. Properties like elasticity, thermal resistance, density. This printer of theirs can match it perfectly. I can tell it's something you're really passionate about. You have no idea. This is revolutionary. Seriously, all they need to do is imagine a specific part, feed the design into the computer, and the printer can produce it in a matter of minutes. The possibilities are endless. That does sound pretty remarkable. Hey, Madeira. You know anything about the composite factory? The one in Smuggler Coves? Yes. That's where they produce all the raw materials needed to build the drones. All of the alloys, plastics, and composites. You know, like carbon fiber and epoxy. It all happens in that factory. It plays a pretty vital role in the process and manufacturing of the drones. How are they able to get all of those materials and resources? They're extracted from the local mines and then reprocessed. It's a pretty effective system they've developed over there, actually. I'm not listening. The arrow. That He's flying drone test something. zone in restricted area 01. What else do you know about it? Oh, that place? They call it the arrow because it's shaped like the edge of an arrow. Go figure, right? Anyway, yes, it's where they launch the drones and test how they operate at low altitudes. The drone's AI is challenged by the topography of fjords, which is why that area was specifically chosen for testing. So is the platform built into a mountain or something? Yes, actually. It's built on the side of a mountain on the edge of the fjords. They come and go from a platform hidden right in the middle of the mountain range. Fascinating. Now that the AI's been let loose, what'll happen next? It's gone wild. By definition, it's unpredictable. Your guess is as good as mine. But you've known all the factors, the conditions from the beginning. Yes, I always had a feeling this would happen. It was trust, really. A lingering hope that they would be able to control it, like they said they would. It's hard not to feel cynical about that hope now. So that's it? That's all you have to say? I can't deny that this outcome serves some. Maddox, for example, must be having a field day. Great. Should I pop the champagne then? Sounds like a real party. You too. Talk to you later. See ya. Which can have a journey or a hundred of things? Yeah, this I've already read. Thank you. 
started later so as this is this was the end of I say one for now this is again the this is the beginning of episode two in the next gameplay hope you enjoyed the first episode gameplay of the point Hope you enjoyed. So if you have enjoyed, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon and keep the notification. So thank you all. Thanks for watching. You ever see yourself doing this?